This is the Black Crusted Chickadee, and this is the Carolina Chickadee. While they look incredibly similar, these are actually two different species of chickadee. Now let's say these birds want to mate. Once I throw on this bow, chicka wow wow, what you gonna say? You act like you gon' leave, but I know that you gon' stay. Break it down, dig it down, down, girl. Technically, there are no physical barriers stopping them from mating and producing a viable offspring. The hybrid chickadee. However, scientists have looked into these hybrid chickadees and found that they are being selected against more so than their parent species. In fact, the studies that have been done on these hybrid species have shown that they are both deficient in learning and memory. The scientists that studied this decided that it was because of post-zygotic reproductive isolation, which is essentially just a fancy word for the natural process that prevents hybrid offspring from surviving. Post-zygotic just meaning that it happens after the egg is fertilised. What these scientists failed to look at is what were to happen if this hybrid mated with other of its own hybrid species and produced offspring? What is the effect of the post-zygotic reproductive isolation on the lineage? So therefore, the goal of my research is to study the generations of this hybrid and compare its learning and memory deficiencies to the generations of the original chickadee species, both the black-capped and the Carolina chickadees. This will hopefully lead to a greater understanding of reproductive postzygotic isolation. I will try to determine if the effect of postzygotic reproductive isolation lessens as this hybrid lineage forms its own species. I will test this by looking at the 10th generation of this hybrid species and seeing if it has improved traits of memory and learning. To test this, the birds will perform various learning and associative learning tasks, such as finding food that is put in the same place each day, but with the same obstacles, as well as tasks where they can watch other individuals finding food and learn from it, with each of these generations performing the same task. From this research, there will be a more advanced understanding of post reproductive isolation and its role on the formation of a species. It will further the knowledge of hybrid species and whether they can persist over many generations or if they will continue to be selected against. I hope to help both the conservation biology community as well as the evolutionary biology community as this research can help into understanding if endangered species can mate with their closest species and create hybrid counterparts that are built to survive.